Ninja's back? Wait, for real? Let me see. Thank God. All right, we're gonna watch the video. He's uh, he's coming back and he's gonna be exclusively streaming on Mixer again. That's right. Here we go, guys. Let's watch it. This is uh, Ninja. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Ninja about like two weeks ago, one week ago, had like this weird thing happen where like he uh, like like changed his name on Twitter to like user not found. He's like, I needed a break and he stopped streaming and he just like randomly, it, it was like weird, right? And so he came out with this video, uh, what was this, like three minutes ago and, and we're gonna watch it right now. Hi guys, what's going on? Got it, baby. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Pro-Am Fortnite Tournament winners. This is the diamond play button. Congratulations. Thank you so much. 10 million subscribers. It's official. Oh! Oh! We finally got a ninja skin. Can you teach me the pun, pun? It's very easy. It's ninja. I am Tyler Ninja Blevins, and I'm going to be live everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, maybe OnlyFans. Are the Lions going to win the Super Bowl? Yes. The Lions are going to win the Super Bowl. That's all you need to hear. Hi, guys. What's going on? Was it? Oh, that's the whole thing? So he's going to be live everywhere. And uh, all right, that's crazy. Uh, so he's going to stream everywhere simultaneously. Cool. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what's going to happen. I mean, yeah, there's no drama. It's not like him. Like, listen, guys. Ever since Fortnite, I'm going to keep it real with you. I've been smoking crack, right? It's like, there's nothing that's exciting about this, really. It's just like, he's going to be like, guys, listen, I took a break. I'm coming back. I'm going to be streaming again. And, uh, you know, Kick W, yeah, it's like, I've been, yeah, he's been smoking crack, making crack. That's why, you know, like, he was able to do play Fortnite so well. And, you, you know, like, going to a whole thing about it. Like, it could be a number of things. But, uh, sure, I thought you couldn't simulcast on YouTube and Twitch. You can if you're not partner, which explains why he lost his Twitch partnership. Uh, so he, he's not partnered with Twitch. He's just going to stream everywhere. Now, what is my opinion? How do I think this is going to go? Um, my opinion of this is I don't, I, I don't really think this is a good, good idea. I, I actually, I, I don't really think so. Uh, the reason why is, like, I feel like a lot of, like, it's better for a lot. Like, let's say you have a live stream on, like, seven platforms, and each platform has, like, I don't know, uh, a 1,000 viewers. Is it better to have one live stream that has a 1,000 viewers? Or, sorry, seven live streams that have a 1,000 viewers, or one live stream that has 7,000 viewers? I would probably argue that I think it's better overall to have one live stream that has 7,000. Like, I, I, I think that's better. It's easier to communicate with, like, your audience. It's easier to talk to people. It's easier to manage. Uh, it's just easier in general. And, and so also, like, this kind of, like, one thing it, it does kind of mean indirectly is that, like, the amount of, like, audience interaction is going to go down tremendously because it's like, how's he going to read seven chats at the same time? Does he think he's fucking Morpheus? It's not going to happen. So it's something that I would worry about with that in terms of like the quality going down. But overall, I think that, you know, you know, with Twitch changing their rules and everything, I'm kind of curious to see how this turns out to see if he goes and does really well or, um, you know, if that doesn't happen. Ninja Fix would be Gamer69 on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and I do think that it's probably... I think that it would be better probably if he just went to YouTube, if you want me to be totally honest, because that's where he's popular. Like, he's not really popular on Twitch as much. And selling viewership does work. It adds up all the platforms, just the highest one. Uh, it adds up, it, it's both. Uh, like, uh, peak viewership and also the highest, uh, they both have value. I think Ninja, Ninja effectively won the game, right? Ninja is the most popular gamer, uh, I, I would say, in the world. Uh, I mean, he's probably the most, like, if you took a thousand people off Walmart or off the street and you showed them a picture of, like, you know, uh, probably, like, me, XQC, maybe PewDiePie is more popular than Ninja. I think you could maybe make that argument, but I would say he's not really just a gamer. Uh, he does a bunch of other stuff, too. So it's, like, kind of hard to say, like, where somebody draws the line. But, like, if you put, like, all the other top Twitch streamers, uh, you know, people on YouTube, and you're like, like, how many of these people do you recognize? 
I, I think mo more people would recognize Ninja than pretty much all the rest of us put together. Like, I'm gonna I'm just be real. Like, I think that that's just the fact. Like, you go to the supermarket or the store or something like that, and, like, there's gonna sh there's a shirt for, like, kids, and, uh, you know, it's got Ninja on it, not nobody else. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think that he's, he's won the game. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. The thing is, like, Ninja's obviously a very competitive person, okay? Like, we know that. Everybody knows that. It was, uh, you know, like, everybody knows he's very competitive. And I know, obviously, like, you know, like, him trying to focus more on, like, his real life. And, you know, it's like you can't be as popular as, as like, Ninja was in 2018 forever. Uh, that's just the way that things go. And uh, especially if you're not really doing anything else besides just the same thing. So it can be hard to kind of deal with that and cope with that. Uh, I know it's been an issue for, for me sometimes where my stream does really well and then it doesn't do as well. It's like, uh, you know, what am I doing wrong? What's wrong with me, right? And, and so I can only imagine how he feels. But at the end of the day, he's won the game. He's like a fucking $80 million, $80 million in there. So I, I feel like he should probably just kick back, relax, and, um, you know, enjoy the fact that he's the first ever, in my opinion, real mainstream gaming celebrity. Fuck the viewership, just do what you want. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he, that's it. He's fucking, he's done. But like, he beat the game. That's it. Or as people think he needs to live it up or something. Yeah, no, why would he live it up? He's got a, he's got a wife. Uh, he can spend time with her. He's got his friends. And that's all you need. You don't need a, a fucking Bugatti or a, a Lamborghini or a boat. But if he wants one, he should buy it. That's the way I see it. It's like, you don't need that stuff to be happy. But if you want it, then take it. If he was watching, well, let's see here. Bro, about to get stream sniped on every platform. <laughs> yeah, Cypher knows all too fucking well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's fucking go, bro. Everywhere. Yeah, it's going to be... I think that a lot of people... Like, from my perspective as a streamer, a lot of people are interesting, excuse me, are interested about this because, like, probably, like, me and, and Courage and Tim, we're probably curious, like, how's this going to go? Like, what's going to happen? Because, like, let's say Ninja does this and it's really successful for him. Well, then you're probably going to see other people do it, too. And so it's like, thank God this guy doesn't give a fuck enough to just try this out and see what happens for the rest of us. So, yeah, that's the way that I feel about it. Are you bearing out from streaming and then stream from seven platforms at once? Um, I, I, I don't, honestly, like, getting burnt out of stuff is, like, such a really complicated, uh, like, psychological thing that I feel like you can't really ascribe traditional logic to it. You, you can't say, like, oh, well, why, is, why does he feel this way whenever I think he should feel that way or, or something like that? If anybody gets burnt out on something before... Uh, you know that, you know, it's like sometimes it's just, it's too much and it's just something about it that's just, it, it gets you off and, uh, or it throws you off. Um, uh, maybe the moderator is taking the best question, streaming across multiple platforms could be interesting, see how he's handled. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm curious about this. And, uh, it's a publicity stunt. What the hell you think it was? Like, what did you think it, like, well, of course it's, it's on Twitter. No shit, it's a publicity stunt. Wait, it's his job. Wait, quit trying to pretend like video gamers are like your friends or you have something in common with this guy. He's like, you have nothing in common with people that are in like the top 10 or top 100 Twitch streamers other than you play the same video game. You have just as much in common with them as somebody that played football in middle school has with a person in the NFL. Stop trying to fucking pretend like you know these people or you've, like, oh, you understand. Like, it's just a fucking parasocial, weird, fucking cringe bullshit that should have died 10 years ago. And it's still walking around like a fucking corpse. It's so cringe, annoying, and disgusting. I hate it. So, yeah, that's what I think. Listen, yeah, listen to me, your real best friend, okay? And uh, let's see here. Listen to that. Yeah, of course. I'm going to see you on my country. We work here together. Yeah, just so they call people by their first name. That's what I was saying before with the Queen thing. It's like Andrew and Megan. Like, what the f I don't know who the fuck Andrew is. Like, <laughs> Andrew, like, you, you mean like my neighbor? Like, what do you mean Andrew? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? 
So yeah, his big business guys depend on publicly. He's like a movie star. Well, I mean, like he's gonna do what he's gonna do. Uh, I just think that some people like need to remember that like everything that you see on camera from like a streamer or something like that, it's not like it's not like you're smart for being able to identify that this person is monetized. You're not smart for being able to see that somebody's promoting a sponsor or somebody is doing something like that. They're doing something to help their channel. This is obvious. Uh, it's, it's completely fucking obvious. I think there's some people that just, uh, you know, they have a lot of lingering resentment and uh, it gets manifested that way. So, yeah. Well, these story times revealed so much. Uh, I have so much in common with you. Yeah, sure, right? Better viewer experience. I can now pick my, play, my favorite platform. Yeah, I think that's true, too. I mean, maybe it'll be good for him. And so that's just generally how I feel about it. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I got four root canals yesterday. So, yeah, people hate sponsorships, never been sponsored before. Well, of course, right? I mean, most people that hate sponsorships aren't in a position to get sponsored. I think that's a better way to say it. It's because it's not that they haven't had a sponsor, it's that they couldn't get a sponsor. So it's important to keep that difference in mind, is that you always have people that are, uh, you know, negative and shit like that whenever it's like, what the fuck, like, you just, like, who the fuck are you, right? Uh, it's, it's so annoying.